So welcome back to IGCC ICTP Pro. We will be doing for May June 2023. We're going to carry on right now for the presentation for the PowerPoint. That's for still paper two one. Okay. So let's go to the presentation part on page ten and task four. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of six slides using this file. The easiest way is to create it is first of all create new and go and create a presentation. I'm just going to call it. Uh, did they give any specific name? So I'm just going to call it Scratch. And then what you can do is just go to File and Open browse and then go to that specific file which is the rdf file and browse to it and open it okay one thing will happen that you won't be able to visit uh, see those files or view them so make sure you're selecting here all files and then after that you will be able to select that file here you go that's the easiest way or there is another way you can just right click on it uh, right click on that file and open it with PowerPoint with go and choose and select PowerPoint it's going to open okay you can see we got six slides perfectly uh, greatly and uh, with the title and content uh, unless otherwise instructed slide must be displayed as title and bulleted list okay we will get the instruction so for 23 use a master slide to display the following features uh, automated slide numbers on the top right so we have on the top right uh, automated slide number and then name slide number candidate number supposed to appear on the bottom left a three four point of wide horizontal line about three centimeter from the bottom of the slide above to your detail and across the full width of the slide okay we're going to think about this and how to do it so for the automated uh, things the, so let's start to apply them first of all first point i don't need this one so for this one okay so it, it got saved with another name just make sure you're saving it in your same location don't forget to do that step you just can select whatever name i'm not in need for this one so i'm going to delete it and save it no, I don't need. Okay. Okay. So the question is automated numbers. So let's go first of all to view. Click on Slide Master, and make sure you're scrolling to the very first top slide. After that, go to the Insert, and click on Header and Footer. Right now, we're going to do all the work, but make sure you're selected from the slide master, this first slide. That's, this is going to make sure you're applying it to all the slides. So on the top right, I need to make sure the number is activated. First of all, activate the slide number. You can see this dot got activated. Later, we need to move it to the top. Another thing is we need to activate is the name and candidate number. It's supposed to be on the bottom left. Let's activate this one. It, here it's appearing in the center. Later we will move it. So no harm. Okay, apply to all. And then right now let's close or oh, don't close yet the slide master. Here is the page number. Make sure it is on the top right. So just move it to the top right. We may decrease the size a bit. That's one thing. Second thing is the name, center number, and candidate number on the bottom left. So this one is supposed to appear. This is anyway not going to be appeared because we didn't activate it. But this one is supposed to appear on the bottom left. So I'm just going to make it aligned to the left side a bit. And this I will make it aligned to the, it's already right aligned. Perfect, let's close it to check the points. Close it 
And over here you can see all the pages consistently showing. For the next point, we need to put a three to four point wide horizontal line about three centimeters from the top of the slide above your detail and across the full width of the slide. So again, for this even, we need to go to view, activate the slide master because we want it to be applied to all of them and select the very first slide. So the line is supposed to be placed over here in a horizontal way. So let's go to insert and go to the shapes and select the line. Let's draw the line. It's supposed to be above three centimeter. You can see those are supposed to be in centimeters. It's supposed to be a bit higher than till this level. And make sure the weight is, they said to mention, to be three to four points. So we can select in between or any of them. So three or four, no, this is more than, so I'm going to select three. Any color, I guess, the black would be the best. Uh, so it's supposed to be about three centimeter from the bottom and above your details and across all of the width. So what I'm going to do, I guess we can reduce this a bit. Okay, um, just that's it. Let me close it and check. Did it affect my details or no? Nope, it's perfectly great. Also one point in case you're not sure that those numbers are centimeter or not centimeter, to change for the PowerPoint is a bit slightly different method. You need to go to the region in control panel and you need to make sure that you're selecting the format to be United Kingdom. So they will make sure that you're using the metrics. And uh, you can go also to the additional settings. There used to be a way here. No, I think you just need to activate that one and it's supposed to be showing in uh, centimeters. Just let me make sure of one point here. Yes, that one also in case you're not a measurement of sure of it also. So after applying the United Kingdom measurements, make sure also to go to the additional settings and click on metrics. So choose metrics that will make sure for sure you're using the centimeters over here. So that's uh, for this point. Let's go to the next point. Make sure that the master slides appear in the same position for every slide and no overlapping in any of the slides. Perfect, let's go to the next point, 24, format the first slide so that a title slide is applied with no bullets. Okay, so first point, let me go here, right click and make sure it's the title slide. And the title and subtitle are center aligned in the middle of the slide. They're already center aligned. And this one also subtitle is center aligned. So for question 25, open this CSV file. We have the header or title and then there is a header and those are the categories and their total winners. What we need to do here to create a pie chart and to compare the number of race wins by each group. So we're going to select over the races and then insert a pie chart. After that, we need to put the title. And we need to format the chart to display the group names and the percentages over here. So to do this, we can just go to the data labels and place it, for example, here. And they made sure that it is outside of the chart and the numbers of percentages is one decimal place. So let me go back again to here and click on more options. Let me click back again, more options, as you can see here. Let me show the percentage and uh, uh, over here it needs to be as a percentage and with one decimal value and let me place it outside of the category. Uh, can I select from here? I'm just going to choose it from here and make it outside 
and perfect. I'm going to add also the category name. So I need this too. As it is mentioned here, I need the percentage and the group name, which is the category name. Uh, outside, yes, one decimal place, yes, and we need to remove the legend. So to remove the legend, we just need to remove the tick from here. Perfect. Let's go to the next point. Let me see everything is perfect. Okay, let's go to the next point. 28, emphasize the group with the largest percentage. So who have the largest percentage? Emphasize on that group by pulling it out of the sector away from the other groups. That means just double click on that, this is the largest part. Double click on it and try to take it a bit to the outside. Not too much, just a little bit. And then 29, place the chart to the right of the bullets of the slide, which is titled as Scratch Group Cyclist. Let's go and copy the whole chart, Control C, and let's go and look for the cyclist, a scratch group cyclist, this one. We need to place it where? On the left or right side? We need to place it on the right side. So this bullet or this chart needs to be on the right side. So get back again here. Try to reduce it and make sure it is not overlapping with this. And make sure it is not also going to the left side a lot. We need to maintain the aspect ratio or sorry, the slide master. Okay, I'm going to paste it. You better enlarge it and make it clear so the printing time can be visible. Make sure also this line is not going out of the slide. Um, next point, we need to make sure of the no word split. All the data and labels are visible and charts are do not overlap with any other items. I already tried to make sure that these are not overlapping. Just a little bit, just to avoid this type of issue. Try to... Nope, that's not okay. I'm just going to reduce a bit from here. And number 30, add the following text as a, spread uh, as a presenter or speaker notes to the slide with the title Scratch Groups, the same slide, and add this note below that slide. So copy it and pull it out from down here and paste it. After that, print only this slide with these notes in the portrait orientation. So go to the print. And uh, make sure you're selecting the notes pages and it is already in the portrait you can see this is a portrait not a landscape okay here portrait and that's it you can see the notes are here visible and just print when you're going to print make sure you're not wasting the pages so make sure you're selecting print current slide and then print out this only paper that's the first printout the next printout on the other slide uh, with the title of handicaps so let me look where is this one all right this one uh, format the text which is race director so when you click on it it opens an email editor ready to send this message with a subject that is called race caps so let me take this email and uh, here is the text right click and click on hyperlink Type the email address here. I I already copied it. This two. You will find that this mail too is already added automatically. Another one is the subject. Also write it down over here. Okay. So you have the email, you have this mean text, the email address and the subject, and that's it. Click on. Okay. Uh, place in your evidence a screenshot showing that link text, email address, and the subject. So just open it back again and click on uh, where's the link edit the link just take a screen capture of this one and 
place it in your screenshot evidence file. This is the last evidence. And save the presentation, print the full presentation as a handout uh, in portrait orientation with two slides on the page for each filling half of the page. So you're, after this is done, just go to the print and make sure you're printing whole slide, all the slides. And it is needed as two slides for the page and in the portrait uh, orientation. So yeah, that's a portrait orientation already here and two slides per page. And that's all you need to print it out after that. This is with the presentation finally at the end and your exam paper, you need to print the final task, which is Make sure that names and turn number candidate number on every single page of the evidence file, save it and print it out. So you can see there is a title and there is also name and uh, I mean there is a name, center number and candidate number and make sure you're printing it. That's all and see you in the next pages, in the next papers.